Why do we have such mixed feelings towards leeches? They look so gross and slimy and they're known to be bloodsuckers, creepy, bloodthirsty creatures. We are instinctively afraid of them. But people can really benefit from them. They can treat diseases, they can be used for reconstructions and transplant surgeries. Their mouths secrete a concoction of healing aids, anticoagulants to thin blood and prevent clotting, vasodilators to dilate blood vessels for easy blood flow, anti-inflammatories and anesthetics so the patient doesn't feel the leech's tiny star-shaped bite. Let's conduct a small experiment and see what these eight leeches would prefer to eat. My warm-blooded hand or a piece of defrosted liver. I am terrified. I've been bitten by leeches before and I'm really scared. I have caught these eight leeches in one of the Ontario lakes. Legally, I can possess 120 leeches for live bait fishing. I didn't catch any fish that day, so I brought them home. This happened last fall, and unfortunately, the weather didn't permit us to go again, so I decided to keep them as pets in my fridge until spring. It's now been five months since I fed them, and all I do is just regularly change water. The leeches are very hungry, and I'm afraid they're going to die if I don't feed them at least once. So they're my pets, and they stay with me for a very long time. I want to take care of them, and I want to share some of my blood with them. It's known that leeches don't transfer any serious diseases, and wound infections are quite rare, especially if the leeches haven't eaten anything for a long time. Starving them makes the concentration of the symbiotic bacteria Aramonas very low, and this allows them to not be dangerous for the host. Now that I'm emotionally ready, I'm going to put these leeches one by one on my hand and try to donate some of my blood to them. But none of them have bitten me. I'm confused. Maybe my skin is too thick, or maybe the leeches aren't that hungry. I decided to give them some liver. I actually caught them initially in the lake using liver in a leech trap, and by my surprise, I'm going to have to accept the fact that my pets prefer liver over my blood. Upsetting, don't you think? Actually, not, because these leeches aren't bloodsuckers, as we were made to believe. Many of them actually don't suck blood. A lot of them are predators. Please meet Arpobdella obscura. It's a freshwater ribbon leech common in North America. It is a large leech and they can grow more than 10 centimeters in size. The large mouth occupies the whole anterior sucker and there are no jaws. And this is why they can't bite. It's not a blood sucking leech. It's a predator with prey ranging from invertebrates, many amphipods, water fleas, copepods, worms, and gastropod mollusks. Not all leeches feed on blood. The freshwater or amphibious ones, they are carnivorous. My leeches belong to a group of worm leeches that have no jaws or teeth and they swallow their prey whole. Its food consists mainly of small invertebrates. Ribbon leeches are called ribbon leeches because of their gracious movements in the water. They have very long and flat bodies. Their movements attract fish, and for that purpose, ribbon leeches are one of the best live bait for bass fishing. And I confirm this fact on a video that we have on our channel. You can check out the link in the description. But when I learned this, I wasn't afraid anymore. I can hold them all the time in my hand and they're kind of adorable to me now. But I'm still afraid of another leech, which is a real nasty bloodsucker, Macrobdella decora. The closest North American species to the medicinal European species, Macrobdella medicinalis. They are amazing creatures and they can be kept as pets and they can live up to 10 years with proper care and occasionally provide you with medicinal services because they have a hormone, hirudin, in their saliva. They can vary in color depending on habitat, but they're normally dark green with orange and black spots on the top and an orange belly. So in my next video, I'm going to put ribbon leeches and large earthworms in the same container and see what happens. So please make sure to subscribe.